All right. So one of you wanted a little more in-depth look at what I did on this uh, homemade power pack. Um, so I just pulled the gas tank off, which was you know stock gas tank from the uh, generator. <clears throat> Let's start. Oh, uh, you can see right here. I got the you know see so you got the Lovejoy coupler that comes off the one-inch shaft of the generator. This is this this area right here is where the generator part of the engine would have sat. So. With the Lovejoy coupler, just come over to a bracket that comes up off of the, you can see it tee up off there, the the bottom mounting plate that the motor sits on, and then the pump sits here. This is a 13 gallon per minute pump, and I didn't have a short hose, so I just had this hose wrapped around and it comes up and goes into the valve right here. And you can see what I've done on the valve is... Uh, so here's the hose, the line coming in, pressure in, and then you've got the two outs that have the quick disconnects hooked on, and then I also put a T in here, and this runs over. This is the back of the pressure gauge. And then my return line, Tanner, are you helping? <laughs> my return line comes out of the bottom of the valve, and just, I'm just using some black pipe. I mean, it's not a high, high pressure comes over and it hooks into the uh, filter 90s out goes into some flexible holes because I didn't you know I, it, it's easier to make that connection into the tank and the tank is just mounted on the sides right here I just welded some tabs on there and mounted that that way um, three quarter inch fill breather cap um, down here on the bottom you can see the there's where the the tank feeds into the pump right there and it just goes over 90s up and here's the front once again the pressure valve sits on a little bit of an angle and on and off um, what I did have to do here I told you in the other video the exhaust I cut it right here the exhaust came straight out and sat right in this area right here and that would have been a problem. Well, you can see the problem. It would have ran right into the side of the tank. So all I did was cut it, weld it on. Some of this black fitting, which you've got to heat up to weld it before you weld it, or you'll you'll crack your welds. That's just a casting there. So, and then it goes over. See, it goes over 90s welds. Got the other fitting that I cut off. This is the other side that hooked onto the the muffler. Weld on the other end of the black pipe, 90, and then I've just tacked that up there, and I'm missing a bolt still. And so the exhaust comes out the side. You know, it probably still gets a little bit warm right here, but um, seven and a half gallons. I haven't had a problem with that heating up. And uh, that's basically all I've done. I've got this piece right here. If you noticed in the video that when you'd run an actuator and it would reach its limit it would it would uh, the rpms or not the rpms but the pressure would just jump up and, and kill the motor so what this is this is a pressure relief valve and this is going to get mounted right there so i'll have to get just a straight fitting that'll get put in there and what this does is so you've got pressure in then you get your pressure which will come up to here and then you've got a return line that ties into somewhere into your return somewhere anywhere in there and uh so once that reaches i think they come set this one's set at like 2000 maybe 2500 um psi so once it hits that it opens a it opens a bypass in there so instead of stalling and bogging the motor down it's going to bypass and go through this back into the tank and until you flip your switch and then it'll it'll go the other way it'll shut this off your pressure will come out this way until it builds pressure above 2500 again and uh, so that's what i did i will be i've got to go down and pick up some fittings to hook this on so i've got this 90 here which is a three quarter to three eighths i'm just going to do a straight uh three quarter to three quarter which will go into here and then uh I'll probably use this fitting, this three-quarter to this back here. And I'll probably have them cut this hose down so it's short, wherever I'm, wherever this is going to end up falling in to place there. 
and uh, <clears throat> hopefully, maybe I'll have to do a 90. I'm not 100% sure. This might be too high and it might hit the gas tank. So once I start figuring it out, I'll, I'll make another video. But anyway, that's a little update on the homemade power pack. Gas tank comes off and uh, hopefully that helps for, for that person that wanted to see a little more in-depth detail what's going on there. And uh, thanks for watching.